The damage is done, 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 done. It can't be undone, done, done. Ooh, the damage is done, 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 done. There's no way to run. The damage is done, 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 done. The damage is done. This is done. And the damage is done, done, done. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know, that's it. I medicate my emotions and pretend. I mean, there's so much stuff that happened. We could sit here on that question for hours, but the, the short end of it is um, I needed to go through a a, a personal growth process. I needed to, to elevate my mind and my and the way I looked at life. And um, you know, I just needed perspective. I needed I needed time to grow. The things that happened with me with that record and and everything that happened after that, uh, it changed my life forever. And it took me time to really come to grips with it. You know, and when you don't have a, a strong support system around you, it takes you longer sometimes to figure things out. Uh, but. Thank God I made it through the storm, and and I'm able, I'm able to be here and and continue to do what what I what I love to do, passion. Hamburg just ended up being the city um, that had all of the doors that just opened up for me. You know, it was it was all the right people at the right times from my photographer all the way down to the producer I was working with to the uh, publishing company I went with I um, mean everything was kind of situated here and I wouldn't have it any other way you know I love this city the more I learn about it the, the happier I am that I'm here and I've lived in other places in, in Germany when I visited in the past the feeling that, that I get out here in Germany it, it makes me want to create it don't ever let anybody tell you uh, Germany can't be an inspiring place because I just wrote this whole album out here Bobby's brother, orchestra. I mean, super, super talented. It's a real interesting story how Marcus and I met. And uh, originally we met through uh, my manager, Chris Flanger. And um, from the beginning, it was just really supposed to be like one song, huh? Really, it was just supposed to be one Actually, song, yeah. maybe cut, one, cut a couple records, that was it. Maybe two or three songs, and that was supposed to be the end of it. And. Uh, and then it went from one song to another song to uh, Marcus moving me in and let me sleep on his couch. No, I'm just kidding. But it started from one song. Yeah, the funny thing song. was, we were uh, meeting in a restaurant and I was introduced to him and uh, we had a similar pass again. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, oh. that's right. Oh, that's right. Like the whole the whole thing is really started because, because we had a connection because he, he worked with Vanessa back in the day and I worked with Vanessa back in the day. So that was like this history that kind of brought us together. And then, you know, come to find out, we talk about music and, and our lives. And although we come from different backgrounds, our love for music was the same. And and, and the, the good thing about it, the love for music and the intensity. And, and also, I mean, you know, he's been at this a very long time as I have. And so it's really nice to be able to run into somebody who is so professional and so talented that you know, coupled with mine, we was able to do some amazing work, you know? Really great energy together. Like. Yeah, yeah. The album has 13 songs on it. Maybe we might add one more in there before it closes. More up-tempo and mid-tempo than ballads, but the ballads that are on it are just, you know, they're slamming. Uh, but I, you know, my first album, my very first one, there was more ballads than up-tempos, you know, and uh, I wanted to, this one, I wanted to make sure I got an even number this time for everybody and for myself.
finished the song, Marcus and I were like, man, this is a great record. And then as time went on and the album developed, I thought that what an interesting title. Maybe we could come up with some really great pictures for the cover. And I just wanted to make a record that was fun. You know, it had a lot of a lot of party energy in it. Maybe maybe it's my own little way of putting my own little fantasy out there in the world. You know, and as far as how many records it sells or how popular it gets, we'll see. But I know for sure that uh, the heart and soul of Dante Thomas is in this album. Hey Dante, well, let's go home. It's time. Oh, I'm just going to have a fucking time.